I am Madhil Kumar. Welcome to my series on probability. We are actually trying to understand what kind of strategy we should adopt to solve a given question. Here is a question based on independent events. Let A and B be independent events. If probability of A is 1 over 4 and probability of A union B that means A or B is 2 over 3, then probability of B is what? You are given 4 choices. Now this is one of the most difficult questions in this series. Let's try to understand. When we are talking about two events, of course it is a compound probability, right? Now, second part is mentioned here, which is independent events. Now, compound and independence, what does that remind you of? That is what you have to think of, right? Now, if there are two events which are compound and which are independent as given the situation, then what is going to be the probability of uh, A union B? This is what you need to figure out. And what is going to be the probability for A intersection B? Now, when I say union, it means what? It basically means that you're looking for probability of A plus probability of B. And there has to be something in common between these two also. That means you should take away the probability of A intersection B, correct? Now, what is probability of A intersection B? Well, in case of independent events, the probability of A or B does not change from what has happened earlier, correct? It remains same. So, so in that case, you know, probability of A and B is what? Is probability of A and then B happens will be product, right? Probability of B. Even if it is other way, first B happens and then A, it doesn't really change. So, so I hope you've got the concept here. Now in the given situation, we need to find the probability of B. I think these equations should help you to figure it out. So you can actually pause the video at this stage, write down the answer and then look into my suggestions. So we could actually start with this particular equation. We are given probability of A union B. Right, we are given probability of A, we need to find B. So, we will begin with the union statement, right? So, we are saying the probability of A union B is basically equal to probability of A plus probability of B take away probability of their intersection, right? So, A and B, right? Okay. Now, I'll be using the symbol a lot. Let's try to understand the symbol. This means what? This means or, right? And this means what? This means and. Right? Okay. So, now, I know probability of A union B. I know A. I don't know this and I don't know that also. But I have this formula with me, right? I can actually use this formula to help. Then I'll have only one type of variable that is probability of B, right? So let's do that. So we can say probability of A union B is basically equal to probability of A plus probability of B take away product of these two probabilities, right? Now you see very clearly that there is only one unknown here and that is what we are interested in finding so you can easily find it does it make sense to you right so so let's calculate this answer so now we'll substitute the values we know probability of a union b is 2 over 3 probability of a is 1 over 4 probability of b we need to find here we know probability of a is 1 over 4 and probability of B we need to find. So we'll rearrange and then solve. So we have 2 over 3 
take away 1 over 4 equals to probability of B, we can take that as common, right? 1 minus 1 over 4. So that gives you, this is common denominator of 12. 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 1 is 3. Probability of B, 4 common denominator, 4 minus 1. So probability of B is 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 over 12. And here we get what? 3 over 4, right? So times 3 over 4. So that gives us the probability of B as what? We'll just cross multiply, right? 5 over 12 is there. We'll multiply by 4, divide by 3, correct? You could simplify this a bit, dividing 12 by 3, right? And you get your answer, which is 5 over 9. Does it make sense? So C is the right answer for you. Perfect. So that is how you are going to find the probability for B in the given condition. So I hope that helps. Now you could actually extend this question and you can find what is the probability of A intersection B. Correct? You could do that. Perfect. Since you already know the probability of A and B. So that would be a good exercise. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.